These are normal red blood cells. They're soft, smooth, and round, and can easily move through the body. They contain a protein called hemoglobin, which is responsible for carrying oxygen from your lungs to all the tissues in your body. So, we all have two sets of every gene in our body, one from each parent. People with sickle cell trait have one gene that makes sickle hemoglobin and one gene that makes normal hemoglobin. People with sickle cell disease receive the sickle cell gene from both parents. They have more complications because they don't have any normal hemoglobin. It is important to note that everyone who is here today has sickle cell trait, not sickle cell disease. It is also important to point out that sickle cell trait does not turn into sickle cell disease. Sickle cell trait is a common condition. It mainly affects people of African descent, but it can occur in any other person as well. About 1% of basic military trainees test positive for sickle cell trait. Do you want to be a parent someday? Because sickle cell trait is hereditary. It's important for you to understand the possibility of your child having sickle cell trait or sickle cell disease. Since the risk varies based on your partner's status, you may want to discuss your specific situation with a healthcare provider before having children. With sickle cell trait, you have to be aware of certain situations that can put you at risk. These include becoming dehydrated, not being accustomed to the local weather, exposure to low oxygen environments such as high altitude, exposure to increased air pressure environments such as with scuba diving, or being ill. But the most important risk to remember while at basic military training is that during prolonged or strenuous activity, it is possible that you can experience severe complications associated with sickle cell trait. While it is extremely rare to have any problems, it can be severe enough to result in death. People with sickle cell trait do not normally experience any symptoms. But when under stressful conditions, dizziness, weakness, trouble breathing, chest pain or muscle aches can occur. If you experience physical symptoms that are not normal for you, especially while exercising, you must stop and seek medical attention immediately. Everyone who participates in basic military training or other strenuous activities may be at risk for exercise-related health problems, but individuals with sickle cell trait have a slightly increased risk as compared to those who do not. To prevent complications, it is important to build your own intensity slowly and stay hydrated. While at training, you should always drink 8 to 12 canteens of water per day. Even after you leave basic training, it will be just as important to stay hydrated. Studies have shown that complications related to strenuous activity can be reduced by drinking plenty of water, not overheating, modifying your activity based on the weather and your fitness level, and making sure you have adjusted to the climate. Again, if you have any physical symptoms that are not normal for you, stop the activity and immediately inform your wingman, military training instructor, or independent medical technician. Sickle cell trait is an inherited condition, and though it is rare to have symptoms, it is important to understand the risks. You must wear a white band on your left arm throughout the course of your basic military training. If you have any other questions regarding your condition, speak with your military training instructor or independent medical technician to schedule an appointment with a healthcare provider. 